Hello everyone, Junkmaster3 here and I am back with another video and this is going to be an update video and uh, unfortunately I can't talk that much about each and every title because there's a bunch of movies that I need to go through that I haven't shown you yet so uh, this is going to be basically just horror movies so if you're not interested in horror movies uh, what are you doing here? Get out of here! <laughs> well, let's begin with the updates right away. First up we got Monster Dog with um, sorry for the glare by the way but uh, Alice Cooper is in this. I think this was an Italian production. Uh, I'm really glad to have this one in my collection. And then I picked up a movie by Jean Russo who also did Midnight and the movie is Dark Craving or Dark Cra or Craving. Uh, can't pronounce it, sorry. Um, I don't really like this cover art but yeah what the hell I'm still glad to have the movie. And then we have a slasher from the early early 2000 or like I think this came out back in 2001 or something. Uh, serial killing, sorry for the glare once again, but serial killing 101. Um, I have no idea really what it's about or anything. I just picked it up and apparently uh, Corey Feldman is also in this, so that must be this must be interesting. Um, and then we have um, Wrong Turn 3. This is the last one I'm going to pick up because I hated part 4 and when I realized that there was the same guy who did part 4 that did part 5 I just gave up. So uh, yeah, Wrong Turn 3 I think this is still okay. And then we have a movie called Sublime. A blind buy, I have no idea if it's good or not. And then I finally picked up this. Shadow of the Vampire, directed by the same guy who did Begotten. Um, Begotten is just a weird ass movie and uh, this seems to be more like a real movie to me. Um, not seen it yet but it has Willem Dafoe in it and I think he's a great actor so yeah, I had to pick it up. And then I picked up the fourth part in this series, even though I've heard it's supposed to be crap but yeah, I still want the whole series so yeah. House 4. Uh, I think this came out in like 91 or something. I'm not really sure, but yeah. And then we have a movie which one of my friends have told me that I just need to check out because I, he apparently watched this with another friend um, and uh, they both said to me that they, this is a really good movie and I finally found it. Love Object. Yeah. And then we have. Uh, I think this is, uh, I'm just going to move this right away. Uh, and then we have a Full Moon uh, production, uh, Seed People. Um, it's basically a Full Moon movie, so you don't, you really don't know what to expect. But what the hell, Seed People. And then we come to one of the rarest, and I must say this is, I had to pay quite a lot for this movie. Um, and I just had to buy it because I've been on the hunt for this movie for such a long time and I'm so glad I finally found it um, even though it was very pricey uh, but yeah the movie is Clown House by the same guy who did Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 and I don't want to go into any details about this movie because it is it has sort of a bizarre reputation to it about the production and stuff and I, I don't really want to go into any details about that but yeah Clown House uh, and then we have a movie called Blood Tide. This has to be some of the most boring cover arts that I've ever seen. That's just my opinion. Uh, it has uh, James Earl Jones in it, so yeah. And then we have the Swedish edition of the movie Piranha. Apparently it's called Piraya on the front for this cover art or this release. Um, to be honest, I, I am not the hugest fan of this movie. But uh, I really enjoy the part two uh, because it's so stupid and it gets funny. So, uh, but this is still okay. So yeah, I just prefer the sequel just because it's so hilarious. So yeah. Anyway, this one is still good. Piranha. And then we have another blind buy called Scared to Death. I must say I really love this cover art. <laughs> Basically, the the big, the biggest reason why I picked it up from the start. So yeah, uh, Scared to Death. Then we have a movie that needs no introduction, From Hell, with uh, Johnny Depp uh, and Heather Graham. 
not seen it, but I've always wanted to see it. Then we have another Stephen King adaptation, directed by Toby Hooper. Uh, the Mangler, heard mixed things about it, but I still wanted to pick it up. And then we have some sort of low budget crap movie probably, but I, I'm a sucker for some of those low budget movies, because apparently many of them get so bad that they're funny. Boa vs Python. Python, sorry, pronunciation. And then we have a movie directed by uh, Pierce Haggard, who also did Blood on Satan's Claw. And apparently, I actually read about this that the uh, that the uh, that Toby Hooper was also involved with this, like in the directing part, but uh, he's uncredited for some reason. But yeah, Venom, uh, Blue Underground release. Really love this cover art. And then we have a movie with the exact same title, Venom, but this is the one with the Treat Williams. This is also called, or also known as, Venonymous, so yeah. And then we have another blind buy, She Creature. And then I also picked up, this is actually a double dip. Um, sorry for that, there's some noise in the background, but yeah. I double dipped on this, Dead Birds. Then I picked up the uh, another release, not another release, but another movie by the same director, uh, Red Sands. I've only seen it once. Sorry for the fucking noise in the background. I'm gonna show you, tell them to shut the fuck up. Uh, and then we have Pandorum, really great movie. And then we have The Jewel, Easter Bunny Kill Kill, and then Death Warmed Up. Now, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored, and I hope to see you again as soon as possible, so see you next time. Bye-bye.